if you guys miss these on Marketplace, <laughs> don't worry too much about that, you know. Don't, it, you, you guys, you better off. You just, you better off. Found a couple, uh, found a couple Raptors on Marketplace. The guy was selling. Ooh, not too bad. We can make that work. I think this one jumped time. He said if you pull it behind his truck, it might fire up. He said the timing chain broke, but then he said he'd pull it behind his truck and it'd fire up. So timing chain's on there. Maybe she broke time or jumped time. Then we got this one that's supposed to start and run as is. Battery's a little dead. Let's see if it'll jump. Uh, that's not exactly what you want to see when you get in there. That's obviously going to need some work. No air box, no air filter. Wonder if the fuel's on. Oh, I see what's going on. Parking brake. That's why they were cutting up the CDI. I'll show you how to fix it. Your quad won't rev. This one's out of time, we'll find out. We're gonna check the timing before we try and crank it. Whole smoky, huh? Night. I guess they started cutting all that. Come on, man. If you guys miss these on Marketplace, <laughs> don't worry too much about that, you know? Don't, it, you, you guys, you better off. You just, you better off. I save you guys from a lot of this bullshit. All right, well. You can see here, somebody made him a sticker, a backward sticker. We got to flip that over. Maybe if you read it like this. No. Um, I charged the battery. I think we need to get in here, unplug all this from the CDI so we can't mess it up. Solder some of these connections up. Heat shrink them. We'll pull this one in in a minute. And we're going to take the spark plug out. Try and set it to top dead center and see if it jumped time or what. Because the story I got from him was, from the seller was, the timing chain broke. But he could pull it behind his truck and start it. So the timing chain's not broke. Or it never would have started back up. It must be, maybe it jumped time. Oh my God, you guys. She just smokes a little. Look at this piece of shit. Oh, sweet right before I get a enjoys myself it fouls the spark plug well here's the other raptor that came with it my goodness we got that one running but whoo whoo wee man I haven't even tried to crank this guy okay how did that happen I turn on the key and it did backfire just then the hell oh boy under the seat of the other one was pretty crazy let's see oh they got an air filter in this one by god that seat weighs about 100 pounds like it's soaking wet Put the jumper to it i guess charge up the battery while we uh where are the spark plugs on these piece of crabs up here in the front or something so i'm gonna pull this plug out if uh this thing's out of time we'll have to have the cover off anyways so let's pull these front plastics and uh gas tank i guess i guess i can see if she's locked up just by putting her in gear let's try let's try a little higher gear they got a lot of compression sometimes it shifts well it ain't locked up
All right, so we got the tank off, the plastics off. We gotta get this motor mount off, this top one. Then we can remove the valve cover. And then we can see if this thing's out of time or not. It'll be a lot easier to get the plug out then too. So we pulled off the valve cover. And I don't see anything too tragic. I got the spark plug out. Now we're gonna pull these two caps off, set this thing at top dead center and see if it happened to jump time. Or maybe they just reassembled it out of time or who knows what. As you can see by these thread, this little window here, somebody has been inquisitive of the timing before as well. So, you know, sometimes if somebody else worked on it before, it makes it easier, honestly, because then you know where to start. We're gonna put her here. We're gonna crank the motor, get us a light, see if we can Find top dead and hopefully this motor turns over freely. What is that about 19? So I'm cranking the motor over and you can see already the slack and the timing chain And I haven't loosened the tensioner so the tensioner could be bad or the chain is stretched Which is more like the more likely scenario, which means I guess we could probably leave the top end on but we would have to feet take the cam off take the whole flywheel cover off the flywheel get behind it so I'm turning this and I'm gonna get my top dead center mark nearest I could tell that would be pretty close to the appropriate timing uh, and we're off so I'm gonna go back to the line which was about right there I think we jumped a couple teeth. Beater's gonna need a starter and maybe one way bearing too. I feel like it's the starter. So we took the exhaust out, not just part of it like we wanted. We need a 10. Undo the starter, pull it out, see what's what. So we're gonna do a timing chain on this Raptor and I'll show you why. The tensioner's on all the way, boys. The tensioner's as tight as it could get. It's already trying to dump, jump time again just from the one time that we freaking turned the motor. That chain's way too stretched. So we've got a new one. And uh, we also have some new valve seals, a fresh top end, a new time and chain tensioner. Hoping though that all this needs is a time and chain and the tensioner. And then the top end's for the other one. So we got the starter clutch off, flywheel off, cover, stator off, all the garbage off. This thing looked bent before. Look at the, some chinks in that armor, boy. Look like he's in a sword fight. Oh, wait a second. So the timing jink guide, ting ting, snapped off and relocated to over here. <laughs> oh, we got the tensioner off now, but yeah, we can definitely change that timing chain. So, starter clutch came apart. All these bolts fell down that chute and went all over the place. We're getting them all out. Doesn't seem to be too much damage. We're gonna put the cam and tensioner back on and see if it has compression. And if not, then we're gonna rebuild the top end. Damn guys. So six of them snapped off with the starter clutch into here. Then we found the rest of the bolts. Neato. That's great. Little bitty Raptor update, dudes. Time and chain was stretched to pee. All these bolts snapped off the starter clutch and stayed in the back of the flywheel. Let me see the back of that bad boy. They're all still in there, so that's gonna be, I don't know, that's gonna be fun. And then uh, it kind of did a number in here as well, so we're trying to fix that up, get a new time and chain on it. Starter clutch, the one-way bearing, all that'll be here this week, the gasket. And hopefully we can have those bolts out of the flywheel by then. We can get the sucker reassembled. Must have been all that horsepower is what made the chain stretch like that. Dagga. <laughs> so we found out why the other t chain was so loose. Because they welded on to the old tensioner and then grounded it. Man, they, put, they gave that thing some extends. And then now <laughs> the chain is completely ruined. As well as the... Now, so because all because they didn't want to pull. How long did it take us to replace that timing chain? I already had the valve cover off. It took us less than two hours. Yeah, easy fix. Cheap too. Cheap too. 
I don't know, man. If you're in the desert and that's the only way to get home, that's one thing. Yeah. It's another thing when you're like, we're going riding this weekend. Yeah. I mean, fucking do this. Way out of time. <laughs> Pull all this crap all off. I think you got the right idea. What's holding us up? So we're going to get this top end off. It did start in idle and rev okay, so I don't think the card's really a big concern. I'm sure it's the rings considering they don't even have an air filter in it. Yeah. Should probably order one of those. We got the other one out here. We just put the valve cover back on. She's in time. We're waiting on this RVT to plump up so we can torque this head down, uh, valve cover down. Then we're gonna adjust the valves. And then um, this one, this one's getting a full top end rebuild minimum. Somebody already took off out the exhaust force, so that's cool of them. <laughs> that's where they're starting their rebuild. Or they put half of it back on for us. Sweet. I don't even know what to say about some. He's like, shop tried to charge me 500 bucks. <laughs> Just put that pookie on there. This ain't too bad, I don't think. Because honestly, judging by all this, what are the chances we don't run into a strip bolt? Yeah. It's like, oh, that's what it was, the head bolt, or the actual head Not stud really was really actually good. ruined, yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks good, man. It's a hell of a pipe situation. Oh. Nice. Pipe repair, huh? Yeah. Damn, look how tiny it is on the inside. Is the other one that restricted? We got all the bolts loose to pull off this valve cover. There's two underneath your intake valves. And all the ones on the outside. All around on the inside and there. We got to break free this caca on here. You see any more that might be? Valve cover off. Most of the pookie came with it, surprisingly. Um, we're going to pull the cam, get all these cylinder bolts out, or the head bolts out, pull the head, pull the cylinder, and start assembling her. Got to clean up the mating surfaces on a bunch of stuff, I'm sure. Shoot, let's see what you get on Amazon for a Raptor Big Bore Kit. 686 style. Oh, they just raw dogged the piston in there. Clankety clank. Oh, new head studs. Is that cylinder studs? Yeah, they all did on the other one really good. Oh my. Look at how. Look at that oil. Yeah. I guess we won't know if it's been drinking coolant until we get in here. No, it had coolant in it, huh? Whew. Going in. Taking that off. We got the head off over here. And we're working on this. And so we've got the top end all off. It really doesn't look old at all, but I have a feeling this RVT might have been why we was smoking so bad. There's a couple oil valleys, and uh, that's uh, you know we're letting the we're bird bathing it right now, letting the water kind of rinse it out out here. And the birds have at it; they'll eat all that RVT. My goodness, you guys! You know, show them the valve cover. Nice, that's a pretty good layer of pookie though. They did better on it than this. Come on. All right, got the new piston and rings in, gasket. There's a new cylinder going on. We'll see if this thing's gonna smoke us out of here again or not. New cylinder on. Okay, about to put the bolts in. Um, get the head cleaned up, the valve cover. Got to clean off this time and chain a little bit, tensioner. This thing should be reassembled. We'll clean the carburetors. Might be able to fire her up. Working on this Yamaha, but you know what? It's going to be a sleeper build, buddy. I'm running these OEM Honda power boosters. Come on, man. I'm telling you. Pol this is polished uh, dowels. Yeah, titanium. Titanium polished dowels to try and hold in that Yamaha power. Good luck, buddy. Yeah. Gasket, new dowels, the big power dowels, ported dowels. We're gonna throw the head on. And then probably adjust the valves on the other one while this RVT, while our gasket uh, sets, sets up. Got to put the valve cover on. Should be good to go. So we're waiting to torque down the valve cover for this little RVT to set. That orange is old stuff. We, we did gray stuff right now. Um, 
I got the tensioner in. We checked the valves on this one. They are all within spec. So I'm gonna slap the new tensioner on it when it gets here. And then we can, I still gotta wait on the starter clutch and stuff for that. I'm gonna clean the carburetor on this. And I think we are going to fire that bad boy up in a minute. Now this quad ran. So I didn't think the car would be that dirty and it's not, but we're gonna clean it out because we're putting a new top end on it. And you don't wanna have dirty jets and starve this thing for fuel in one way or another. So the middle one was loose. You kind of hear it too. Yeah. Take this thing down, put a bottle of gas on it and see if she wants to fire up. See if she's gonna play ball or not. First top end. Got this thing out in the wind. She was a smoker the other day, so. We're gonna funnel some fuel to it, see if she fires up. We got the top end completely done on this one today, we think. We did a valve adjustment on this one, a timing chain. Now we're waiting on some flywheel parts. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, watch out now. some exhaust little copper exhaust rings this one we're waiting on the busted starter clutch gear or the starter clutch the one-way bearing we got to get some bolts out of this flywheel over here that snap crackled and snapped off brand new china carb i was wondering why it was so clean well the gas is in the float that's brand new china carb so we'd have got this thing all done up and it had been just pissing fuel everywhere because <laughs> those would not have floated. But fortunately, I think we have two of those, don't we? Yeah. If I don't have that size, I bet you in that box over there, I got a, a Raptor carb. Ooh, getting the motor mounts back on. We did a hillbilly compression test. Carbs are cleaned. We're gonna get the plastic back on and we're just waiting on these few parts for behind the fly. So we got the flywheel cover back on. The oil drained. Got the starter clutch all back together. Um, we're about to put the exhaust on. This thing's all mounted in. We think we know we have compression. I guess now we could really check. Since uh, over 150, was it 160? So this was too heavy duty for the oil filter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's still... Hey, man, that thing's on the stock oil filter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're funneling some gas to her. We're going to see if it wants to run. Might uh, We might have put too much oil in it. We'll find that out in a second. Yeah, buddy. Right up. Now that we got this puppy back in business... We're gonna throw all the plastics back on the tank, bleed the brakes. So now we got front and back brakes, boys. A lever up there, a bottle down there, a little bleeding. That's crazy, we really didn't even have to bleed those necessarily. Yeah. But they would have failed you. Yeah, they're gonna work a lot better now. Yeah, they would have failed you in like an hour. At some point, randomly, <laughs> you would have had to hit the pedal four times. Putting some gas in it. We should be firing her up. Got the brakes working front and back. So we got this beater with the new top end, right? That's about it. Adjusted the valves. Putting a new battery in it. We're going to try and crank her back up. See if she's got the gusto to run or not. This is what I'm just put in their box. Yeah. And they won't notice the missing air filtro system.
for? Dude, it does hurt. Dude, you can hear it echoing off that tree when it idles. Yeah, you romped it over here. Dirty grips. Let's get the stock gloves on. Now the battery fell off. Yes. <laughs> Is the neutral light on? Well, that's a solid ground right there. Hold it and I'll start it up. All right. Maybe that's why it's cutting out, bro. Oh, yeah. Because it's messing with the electrical, too. Oh, damn. Look Would at the CDI start, on it. What'd you start it on? <laughs> it was just, just touching, touching it. it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Brian's like, oh. I'll fix that. I'll meet you over there. New starter clutch, clutch, one way bearing, starter, battery. Uh, the carbs cleaned. We did some other stuff to this thing. I can't remember what. Appreciate you guys getting up in there and watching this Raptor video. Lots more coming up on the channel. This Raptor 700, I just put in my uh, PC6. So video's going up a bit and the difference between it and the uh, FCI intake Yoshi pipe, all that stuff. This BW80, we've done a bunch of mods on. We got that thing going from a stock 29 miles per hour downhill 23 uphill to 43 miles an hour uphill and 44 miles an hour downhill Ooh, we're about to start selling some parts for these bw80s and pw80s so get up in there i got a big red video coming up paint swap meets in a couple of weeks we're going to be out there posting a lot of videos maybe go live i don't know get up in there dudes